Good afternoon. My name is Peter Mankin, and I'm in Mill Valley, California, which is north of San Francisco. And I have a poem here I'd like to read for you that I've never uh, recorded before and haven't disseminated very much. It's about the San Francisco Ballet and a trip to the uh, ballet uh, with a friend. It was written in 2000. And uh, it's a little longish. I hope you'll bear with me and enjoy this. It's one of my earlier works. And I wanted to uh, get it on uh, audio and video today. So uh, here is the poem about the San Francisco Ballet, which I attended with my friend. Her name, her name was Mora. About the Dance, the year 2000, by Peter... Menken. Tonight the ballet, through the storm and with some delight in the practice of movement that belies the interval, dance. Oh, this is a balanced pattern of set and good company. The other ushers are willing to show us to our seats with special tickets of the set builder the curtain puller, the carpenter's wife, girlfriend to company. When shall this modern dance of California, this modern dance of San Francisco, this choreography of shadow and lithesome classical movement in man and woman begin to tell the story? We begin to gather as the winter storm this week brings a large sky. In some splendor and dread to the city, magnificent, so clear in the interlude of a winter storm. Gathering we, O oh Lord our God, who are amid the dancers in their presence before you, how kind they move to the music of orchestral reverberation in the Golden Walled Palace on the coast near the Pacific Ocean. What story we look forward to in the movement of the limbs. A concert of sound and movement with a designed backdrop of sets constructed so over large and spare in their lighted scenery to display the colors of the many players who come to perform for us this evening. Move, dancers, dance, dancers, lift and turn and go. On with the youth of the strength that we share among us, as audience, as visitor, as lover, in the times of our lives, we seek the sublime in this Elysian statement of the majestic movement with sound and story. Gladly, the San Francisco Ballet, what wonderful company on a stormy, wet, and El Nino driven evening. Respite. The musicians will play. We will gather in our listening to a congregation of observers, partakers, waiting for the love of the body in movement before the Almighty in the season of the turn towards spring and all that means for Lent is near, and Epiphany remains this week. For mindfulness of the presence mankind offers in an homage of disciplined lives, for the sake of their artistic sense in a life we do share with you dancers, dance for us, dance for yourselves and among yourselves, with your troop to be a part of this dance, and this music is what we can find for ourselves in the darkened theater in companionship 
and good tidings with pleasures of the aesthetic joys. Thank you for the gift you bring us in music, sound, light, and the stand upon the stage so large to be seen by us with grateful minds and good concern for what you bring us in the beauty of your enjoyment in love for this practice in dance oh yes we go on with our tickets to our seats visitors and participants in this act of the ballet <laughs> 